Hey, what's up guys? Soldier Knows Best there. So the folks over at bookmark.com did sponsor this video, but more importantly, they challenged me to make my own website using their website because their website is a website builder. And I've said website way too many times now. Uh, but anyway, it's a very, it should be a very easy and quick way to be able to make a website because they have their own artificial intelligence design assistant, or they call it Ada. And so it's gonna be asking me a few questions and it'll automatically generate a website. And then I can start from there to try to customize it and make it my own. So the first thing I had to do was just go to bookmark.com and create my own account. Now you don't need to add a credit card, anything like that. There are some things you can pay for, but you don't need to do that. So you can actually just make your own website for free so that's a good thing um, and then they'll start asking you some questions like you know what type of category do you want this website to be in and if you wanted to deal with film or photography um, or food or whatever you're trying to do you pick that um, and then also too you'll just pick a name for your website of course I'm gonna choose soldier knows best why not and then also too um, now you can add your own custom blog to it or you can add an e-commerce store if you wanted to and then you put some of your contact information in and some people get this reference and then you have a couple more questions in regards to the design and layout of your website and then that's it just a few questions and then now ada will go ahead and start generating your website and it said it should take around 30 seconds now if i didn't like this website i could have ada generate me a brand new website using the information i already gave her but i do like this one so i'm gonna stick with this one for now and so i'm gonna show you how easy it is to customize things over here so everything is kind of broken up into different sections or what they call modules and so i have this one right here which is a picture module and then i can go ahead and just click on it and now i can quickly change that image using some of the pictures that are already on the website or I can upload my own um, then I can also drag and move this module up and down on the website and place it anywhere that I want and so they have a bunch of different modules to choose from you can quickly add some music and quickly add a contact form or even a PayPal button to get some money but you have a bunch of different things you can do like adding a YouTube video for example it's really easy you just need the URL add that module copy and paste and you're set to go and so this is not only convenient for people who don't know how to make a website but it could also be convenient for people who do but just want something that's a little bit easier to be able to quickly do something that looks good and I just personally really like all the different social media modules that you have. I mean, you have some for your Twitter, your Facebook feed, and also your Instagram feed. And what I'm showing you here is just me adding that Instagram feed module to the website and then just entering in my in particular Instagram username. And then now I can choose how many posts that I actually want to show up. And then every single time someone that goes to my website, it'll update with my latest post from Instagram. So another way that allows you to quickly customize your website is by using their focus elements. So these are basically preset layouts that range from different things like your contact section or if you're trying to show different members of your team or if you're trying to add a bunch of different videos or to have photos going into a slideshow. So you just click on one, you add it, and then you can also go ahead and customize it even further to your liking. You can change the colors, you can change the font and things like that. But this is another quick way to kind of get you set and up and running. And so now I'm showing you a website that I actually did before I recorded this video and it took me about 10 minutes or so to kind of tinker around and mess around with but once I got finished messing around with it I just had to hit the publish button and boom the world can now see my website so it was pretty easy and simple and all this again was free that's a big thing it was absolutely free but you can choose to upgrade to the premium tier at a cost but this will allow you to connect your own domain it has Amazon cloud hosting SSL security unlimited storage bandwidth and pages and also removes bookmark ads so where the free version I think is going to be great for most people and that's probably where you want to start anyway um, but you can go to this paid version and just have way more control, especially trying to make it look as professional as possible and just to be able to do everything you want with your website. And I think this platform is going to be great for people who are trying to sell things online using their e-commerce store. Um, you have that feature built into this platform where it's going to make it very easy if you're selling things on Facebook or Instagram or other social media platforms, or you just want to kind of directly sell it from yourself. Um, everything seems to be pretty seamless and kind of fine tuned with this website to be able to easily implement that into your own personal personal website. And so just being able to easily dive into SEO or taking a look at your analytics for your website, everything is laid out nicely and it's very easy to get around, but they do have e-learning courses if you need a little bit more help to kind of find everything that you're trying to do. And lastly, they do have an ask an expert section so you can be able to just post a question up in the forums and get an answer and get back to making your site. Yeah, this is a very simple, easy process to make your website. So it's pretty cool. And I'm going to mess around with my website a little bit more. Uh, but if you want to check it out yourself, check out that link down below in the description box to check out bookmark.com. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Be sure to follow me on all my social media networks and subscribe to me on YouTube. And like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.